When POH is provided, you'll be able to solve for pH in one step. You'll also be able to solve for the concentration of hydroxide ions in one step. To solve for pH, take 14 and subtract the POH. We can't solve for hydronium immediately, so we'll move on to solving for the concentration of hydroxide. In order to solve for the concentration of hydroxide, take 10 to the negative pOH. 10 to the is the inverse of log base 10. This will give you the concentration of hydroxide. The hydronium that we skipped can be solved in two steps. You get a choice between the two steps. You could go ahead and use the concentration of hydroxide and the Kw, the Keq of water, 1 times 10 to the negative 14, and figure it out. To do this, you'll take 1 times 10 to the negative 14 and divide by the concentration that you know. Alternatively, and more likely for most students, you'll take 10 to the negative pH, just like you did for the hydroxide ion concentration using pOH. Notice that the pH and the pOH are relatively similar to the powers of their concentrations.